Hey all. Welcome to this reacting to your assumptions about me video. I've been seeing these videos going around YouTube a lot and it just seemed like a fun time to make one. As you guys know, I'm new to YouTube. I'm just figuring out my channel and this seemed like the perfect way for you guys to get to know me a little bit better, a little bit more intimately. So here we go. Sunir Mert says, I assume that you have a really dark sense of humor. I definitely think that's true. I mean, I can laugh at like lighthearted things too, silly things as well, but I'd say my sense of humor comes from a place of like tragedy. I think I think humor is a coping mechanism. I don't think anybody's disputing that. And I think the best humor has perspective to it and has a darkness to it. I, I think memes and gifs can only go so far. Naomi B says, when you've acted in the past, you've always wished you were the director. For the most part, yes, that's true. For the most part, when I've been directed, I've always been like, oh, I don't know, if this is going off the rails. Or I've had my own my own plans, my own ideas, my own agenda, my own way of wanting to do it and wanting to see it. So that's that's pretty true. Although I have worked with some really, really cool directors. I like how I was trying to save it. Like after I already gave my whole answer, the damage is done. Okay, I can't save it now. Stacy Kennedy says, you're actually a lot shyer than you seem to be and press interviews usually give you anxiety. I was very shy when I was really little. I don't think I'm super shy anymore. Uh, I'm an introvert for sure, but I, I guess I'm just used to talking to people. I've done it enough times that it's it's kind of whatever to me now. But press interviews sometimes do give me anxiety. You can tell because my voice shoots way up. I don't know what happens. Uh, I, why does that happen when you have anxiety about something? I'll be like on a carpet somewhere or something and E! News will come, will come over and I'll start an interview for them. And then all of a sudden I'm talking up here and it's just so bizarre, I don't understand it. But it's a thing to work on. So hopefully there'll, I can practice some more and, and eventually get to a place where I can do interviews in the octave that my voice is naturally at. Victoria White says, I assume that you know a lot of industry secrets and have seen experienced a lot of negative things, so you keep a low key normal life and keep away from all that. Yes and no. Um, I definitely, of course I've seen negative things. I think we all have though. I don't think that's something unique to the entertainment industry, but I, I do try to keep a pretty low key normal life. I try to be healthy and, and keep a nice lifestyle that works for me and keeps me um, keeps me sane and happy. That's that's the aim. Wendy Gonzalez assumes your career is the only thing you're really committed to. Uh, and no, I don't think so. I think I'm I'm first and foremost committed to my health and well-being and of course committed to my family. I have three awesome brothers and I'm super close with all of them. They're they're great. But I am super committed to my career. Yeah, I for sure am and I and I have been for as far back as I can remember. I started acting when I was 6. My mom put me in it and I've been I've been pretty committed to career stuff ever since, whether that was acting then or writing and directing now. It's definitely a top priority for me and something that makes me feel good to pursue. Christy Reno assumes that I'm really sarcastic, but actually very sensitive. Yeah, that's true. I'm sensitive in certain ways. Some things are, I'm, in some ways I'm not sensitive at all. It just kind of depends on who the person is, the context of the situation, of course. But generally I'm not sensitive, but when I am sensitive, I'm super sensitive. And uh, sarcastic, yeah, I, that's, of course. FM James says, I assume that you'd rather be alone most of the time. There were a lot of those kinds of comments. There were a lot of people assuming that I like to be alone, that I'm an introvert, that I you know, like my alone time, my solitude, whatever. And that's definitely true. I love solitude. I think it's really important for personal growth, for self-development. I care about that a lot, but alone most of the time, I guess, I mean, I guess, I like to be alone about half of the time, I would say, but I do love to spend time with the people close to me. That's, that's really, really important to me as well. So I think it's just kind of a combination. Carlos Cruz assumes you're an absolute workaholic. I like balance. I actually, do, I do like balance in my life. I really uh, love my work. I love to write, I love to direct, but, but I do try to find balance just because I think that's important. I'd probably land in workaholic territory, but I always have an eye on uh, balance. Not that I always nail it by any means. Melly Santos says, I assume you actually hate country music. So I did country music for a brief period of time and I actually don't hate country music. I really do love country music. I love like contemporary, fun, upbeat country music. At the time when I was doing country music, I loved Keith Urban and Rascal Flatts and Carrie Underwood and Lady Annabellum. And now I actually just saw, I went on a weekend trip with my friend who works in country music. She's a manager. She's very talented. And I listened to some new Marin Morris stuff and Kelsey Ballerini, I think is her name, Kelly or Kelly Ballerini. Kelsey Ballerini, tell me in the comments below what her name is. But I am, I was enjoying both of their songs. 
River F assumes you only interact with your fans when you're promoting something or have a new project coming out. I thought this was a really interesting assumption because I think I do tend to be more active when I have something coming out. But the reason for that is that this is so sincere right here. I guess if you preface something with it being sincere, maybe that automatically makes it seem less sincere, but just trying to tell you the truth. I don't like wasting people's time and I definitely have a lot of thoughts on social media and how it, how I think it ought to be used, how I think it, it can serve people and how I think it can take away from people. And my intention is never to waste anybody's time, but if I do have something cool that I think is worth people's time, then I will, I will spend some time promoting that. And then also if I just have something that I, that I want to share that I think is interesting or fun or could be of some value in some way to somebody, then I will, I will post that as well. So the answer is that I don't only interact with my fans when I'm promoting something or have a new project coming out, but I do only interact with them when I feel that I have something to offer. Dennis Pye assumes that I am a minimalist person and I definitely got on the minimalist trend a couple years ago when it was like really heating up and I thought this is the lifestyle for me. I'm not a super minimalist as you can see by the few things around my house, but I definitely streamlined my life quite a bit, got rid of a lot of stuff and I really like it. I like knowing everything that I have and not having too much is really important to me. I also grew up in a household where there was just way too much stuff everywhere all the time. So I think me wanting to keep a minimal amount of things is probably a result of that. Jordan Barclay assumes that I didn't like my Eric Andre interview. I loved it. Are you kidding? I love Eric Andre. That guy's great. Austin Keithley says, I am assuming you still have a crush on Jordan B. Peterson. I have not watched a Jordan B. Peterson video in a hot second. I need to get back into that, but um, of course I still have a crush. I don't think crushes on Jordan B. Peterson just evaporate. Okay guys, I think that's all the assumptions that I'm gonna respond to. I gotta get some work done. But uh, thanks for sending in your assumptions in the community tab. That was really cool to see what you guys had to say. And I'll be posting in there a bit more if I have some other ideas for upcoming videos and wanna get uh, some suggestions or reactions from you guys. Thanks for hanging out. See you later, bye.